So, um, if you grow cherry tomatoes, there comes a point when you just have a lot of cherry tomatoes. So I am going to make cherry tomato jam. Um, probably put a little heat in this. You can use uh, tomato jam, you can use any time you would use jam or any time you would use ketchup or uh, tomato sauce um, as an additive on things. So, this starts with 500 grams of cherry tomatoes, which is really, to me, it seems like a lot because we're only trying to make one cup of stuff, but we'll, I know they cook down quite a bit, so we'll see how this goes. And what kind of cherry tomatoes are those? These are mostly sweet millions. There's a little bit of the uh, uh, sun. Yukon, sun no, gold. sun gold. <laughs> um, and here's a third of a cup of onion all chopped up, a little knob of ginger, gonna use uh, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar, and some chili flakes, and I'm probably going to actually add some, uh, a little bit of very finely diced up um, hot fresh chili to this to make it a little more of a chili jam. So first things first, I got to get the stems off all these tomatoes and cut them in half. So it's time to cook up our jam. We are going to start with a little bit of oil in the pot, and I'm going to get that going. And we're going to heat the oil a little bit. And while we're waiting for that, I've cut up just this much, just a little bit of this super hot pepper that I got from Dean at the farmer's market. And I peeled my ginger. So I'm going to uh, grate it. Uh, this ginger was frozen and it's kind of wet. Um, it's oh, hard to hang on. Hang to. on, get this. Yeah, just will soft your finger. I like the trick of doing it that way, so all your stuff. Yeah, the stuff catches. stays inside there instead of. A big old mess on You the have table. to scrape it up off the cutting board. Um, I think the oil should be hot. So I'm just going to go in with the onions, so that they get cooked up a little bit before we go in with the rest of the ingredients. So these will cook for just a little bit. And we can hear how they're doing. Back to my ginger. It's usually grates better, but this piece, I don't know. I, I don't usually let it thaw out before I grate it. So this one's just kind of soggy. There's a little better. It's a, he had some that were crossing and it's a, a, a cross between a habanero and maybe a scorpion. So he wasn't exactly sure, you know, what degree. This one was kind of pointed. Yeah, which would about indicate pointy. more of a scorpion type flavor. <clears throat> but uh, it's just going to be good. Oh yeah. So just a little more on these onions. You just do into the translucent or whatever. Yeah. I'd like, I'd like to get them a little bit cooked before I throw everything else in there. So uh, this called for just a third of a cup. Wasn't that it? A third of a cup? Yeah. No. Yeah, a third of a cup of onion and... Uh, That's more than a third. So I chopped up this... It was this. Oh, okay. So I chopped up the whole onion and uh, <clears throat> Kelly's making something that needs a quarter cup of onion and then we'll have some other onion that's already chopped up for other things. Uh, Sometimes I cook them up before I mix scrambled eggs. <clears throat> Add them to the eggs in the morning. All right, so uh, you can see these onions are starting to brown a little bit. So that means it's time to go in with other things. 
Now let's put the tomatoes in. Nice big bowl of delicious. So for this, you really want your cherry tomatoes to be ripe. Uh, they won't cook down right if they're not right. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my ginger. It's not, it's not working as well as usual. Nothing weird on that. Um, The rest of this ginger in that I chopped up and that little bit of hot pepper. And then we'll go with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This, that vinegar should go well with the uh, fruity quality of our jam here and a half cup of brown sugar and they want this to be kind of packed you don't want to skimp on the sugar because mm. you, know, you want that thick jamminess and I'm going to put in a little bit of pepper flakes about a half a teaspoon, I think, just to add to the uh, heat that I already put in there. And the only other thing we're going to have is just a little bit of salt. And I'm going to use the Malden for this. And now, this is just going to cook for, I don't know how long, at least a half hour. We, we need all these tomatoes to uh, fall apart and turn into a jam. Turn into a jam, yeah, and for the whole thing to thicken a little. So, uh, what kind of temp do you think that's kind of got a little bit? I've got right it now. pretty high right now, but once this gets going, I'm going <laughs> to turn it down and just let it simmer a little. Put all that cold stuff in there, so. But if I turn it down, it'll uh, it'll still bubble away just fine, and it needs to do some reducing and some thickening. So we'll come back uh, check on it in a little while. So this has been uh, 30 minutes, and you can see how nice thick it's getting. I'm gonna cook this just a little bit longer and let it thicken up just a little bit more. But we're almost done here. All right, so this is uh, looking pretty thick. You can see it just doesn't leave water behind when you spread it with the spoon. So I'm gonna call this and turn it off and I'm just gonna let this cool off for a while before I put it in a jar. Alrighty, our goo has cooled somewhat and it's time to put it in a jar. We're just gonna put this in a half pint and whatever's left over, we're just gonna have to eat. It's like it's oh, pretty close. There you go. Okay. And then let's see what it tastes like. It's it, that'd be so good on a hamburger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has a it has a relish sort of quality to it just a little tiny bit of heat on the back of your tongue. Very nice. Yeah, that's that's delicious. So there you have um, cherry tomato jam. So thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen and we'll see you next time. So here you can see the uh, tremendous quantity of uh, cherry tomatoes off of one plant. I mean, I, I picked all those that were ripe yesterday. And there's just uh, more coming ripe every day and there's more new ones. It just goes on and on. 
So lots off of one plant and we actually have two plants. This one is uh, was very prolific for a while and it's uh, got a little bit less right now, but there's still a lot coming on all the time. 